Good day, people. As I promised, I would be making a tutorial on this farm. Now, let me just go demonstrate it so that you guys can see what you're going to be building. So, over here, you can build this up to as high as you want and as deep as you want. So, let me just go through these levels so you can see and understand what's happening. Excellent. Now, there's a button over here to activate everything. I'm just going to go over here. Okay, so you guys understand what's happening. Let's go check our pickup bin. That's excellent. So that's essentially what we're going to be building. So let's build it, shall we? So first, you want to build the contour or the perimeter of your farm. So what you want to do is uh, place a bu bucket of water down and see where the water stops. So I believe that is um, 9 blocks or 10. Anyway. Just start building around it, leaving this gap over here. Now, right now I'm going to start building the first floor on my farm, which is the funneling one. Uh, it's not necessary, meaning you don't need it for the farm to work, but I find it extremely useful. So now, uh, you can see that if we do this, put a second bucket of water, you get this pattern in the middle, and this is going to help you do the funneling. So now that you know how big your farm needs to be, you can build up. And really, it doesn't matter, as I said, it can be as high as you want it to be. The only thing you want to make sure is that every level is three blocks high. Otherwise, the redstone won't work. Okay, so now let's build the first level where there's actually going to be dirt on it. So let's just count three. One, two, three. Perfect. Let's build the fourth one. Let's make a little perimeter around it. I'll be right back. Perfect. So now, let's just place dirt onto here, and again, I will be right back. So I just built the first farming floor, so technically it's level 2, technically. So now let's build the filtering, or the, yeah, the filtering system. So you're going to come down here, and you're going to measure like this, actually let's use iron, sorry. So you want to copy this pattern, so 3 in, and there you have it. You don't need these because that's where it's going to be funneling to. You can grab this, do that, and as you'll notice, anything that's on here and falls in here will be funneled to this one spot. So in my world, this is actually on level 2, so I have it drop down into a collection area. but. Again, you don't need that area, so there you have it. That's how you funnel everything into one spot. So having our filtering floor done, let's go on to the first farming floor. And the first farming floor really is just going to be what we copy over and over and over and over until we're satisfied. So what you first want to do is place dispensers in the corners. Let me turn this down. Okay, so you want to place dispensers in the corners, and you want to place glass. Actually, it's really up to you. But you do want to have a block over here so that water does not spill out everywhere when you turn it on. Now, note that on my farm, where the dispensers are, I don't have glass, I have cobblestone over here because anyway, there will be hard blocks on the back of them. So, keep that in mind when you're building this, do not put glass there right away. So, essentially you could just do this. Perfect. So now we have our first floor done. It's not wired yet, but this is literally all it is. So you want to place buckets of water in here. Like so. Okay, so now to wire the dispensers, all you have to do is literally just grab some redstone. Place the line back here. And there you have it, they are wired. Perfect. I will get to the total wiring later. So now I'll be building the second level, just so we can have two levels connected and a, a like master power button down here, so that I can show you guys what the basic farm is. Let's get to it. Remember, three high. Four. So I just 
built two floors, and hopefully by you seeing me building them, you realized how simple this farm is. So I'm going to show you how to do the redstone now. And to do the redstone, all you have to do is just pick whatever block you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to pick this one. You want to place a torch on every level. Perfect. So once that's done, you want to place a block on top of that torch. And let's say I had another floor over here. You place a block on this torch and whatever, so on and so forth. And you're going to place a torch on this block. And you're going to place a block under here. And you're going to have both of them turn off. Now, at this point, you need a button on here, and it turns off both levels. So essentially, place a torch on every level, and then just build up like that. Now, to make the triggering system, all you really need to do is place a button on here, and you're done. But if you think it's too high, uh, all you can do is do this, place a piece of redstone, and place a button, and there you have it, it's a head level, and it does work. So as you'll notice, they're on, and now they're off. Perfect. That's pretty much it for the essential build. So now, all you have to do for your crops to grow faster is come in here with either torches or glowstone, so I'm just going to grab glowstone for fun, and place two pieces of glowstone in like this, and your crops will be able to grow at night. Your tilled floor is not going to stay tilled if there's no water. So to fix that, in my world I have glass on here. Uh, but if you don't put glass, you can just put a slab under the block. I'll show you on this side what I mean. You want to go four blocks in, so one, two, three, four. Destroy this block. Actually, that's a dumb move. There we go. And from here, you just want to place some water in here. And you want to do this on every level. So... Again, why did I destroy that? Okay, so you want to do this on every level. And if you don't want to have a big bulky block like this, let's say you don't have any glass, all you can do is use a slab, like so. You can use, like, if you have, like, a cobblestone farm, you can use a cobblestone slab. If you have an iron farm, you can use um, a quartz slab, so it looks nicer. So this will keep half your farm hydrated. You do this on either side. So let me just do it on this side, too. So you guys can see. So now you need a way to get in. So in my world I have this little space to walk on. And over here, that's where my door would be. Now you want to break this piece of glass or keep it open. And just place a slab down. So that the water, when it's triggered, does not actually flood this area. Otherwise it would kind of do this and flow and make a big mess. So that's all you need to know to build your own farm. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you used this design. Please tell me what you think. Modify it. Do whatever you want. And always remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Do you like those little pipes? I made those in the afternoon. Anyway, please, have a great day, and until then.